As the situation in Syria goes from bad to worse, Lakhdar Brahimi stepped into the role of special representative and picked up where his predecessor left off. He called for a Syrian-led political process leading to a transition, but stopped short of calling for the Syrian president to step aside. To determine their own future. The future of Syria, Mr. President, will be built by its own people and none other. The support of the international community is both indispensable and very urgent. But that support will only be effective if all pull in the same direction. The Syrian ambassador promised to work with Brahimi, but continued to blame outside agitators for the majority of violence in his country. These groups are referred to to be on equal par with the uh, Syrian government, a legitimate government that governs a sovereign state, a founding member of this organization. It has the right, according to the Charter and International Law, to protect the Syrian society and preserve its security and stability. To succeed, Iran welcomed Brahimi's promise to consult all countries with influence in the region. Urgent need for all those international and regional players who had any influence in one way or another on this very critical issue with regional and international ramification to express their union interest and take serious actions for finding a Syrian-led political process in resolving the crisis peacefully. It was perhaps the UN's shortest meeting on Syria to date. Western nations who've been most critical of the Syrian government didn't bother to speak, nor did Russia or China, who have blocked some Security Council action in the past. Perhaps a realization that they've said all they have to say. Brahimi plans to travel to Cairo in the coming days to consult with the Arab League, and then it's on to Damascus, where he hopes to be based. His first speech as the Syrian representative was short in length and short on promises, an acknowledgment that after 18 months of conflict, finding a solution in Syria will not be easy. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, the United Nations.